The nature of gardening is you often have a glut of a particular vegetable that you can't eat fast enough. The challenge here then is to find ways of increasing the shelf life so that it doesn't go to waste and can be enjoyed all year round. Our favourite method is pickling because you can pickle just about anything and it's a great way of infusing new flavours into old familiar tastes. The basic ingredients of pickling are water, vinegar, sugar and salt, but the ratio of how you use those ingredients will vary from person to person. We use Nona's old recipe, which is a 3 to 1 ratio. To that we add coriander seeds, mustard seeds, cloves and lemon rinds. I got my teeth. <laughs> oh my god, I got the smell of the very cool. cool. Once the beetroots are underway, we're going to start making the pickling mix. Now remember you need enough mix to fill up the jars that you're using. So here we're going to do three cups of water, two cups of vinegar and a cup of sugar. Once you have all the ingredients in there, give it a little bit of stir to help dissolve the sugar in the mixture and let it boil for about five minutes. You want the knife to go into it quite easily, but a bit of resistance when you get to the body of the beetroot, because when we put this through the mandolin, you don't want the beetroot to be falling apart. Once the beetroot's out of the hot water, running it under some cooler tap water will make it easy for the skin to come off, which saves you the hassle of peeling it earlier on in the process. It's sweet, a little bit of salt. I used to put a little bit of salt in the water when they cook them. With the beetroot done and the mixture cooling, it's time to prepare the jars with the spices you want to put in. For a 500ml jar, we add a teaspoon of mustard seeds, a teaspoon of coriander seeds, about four to five cloves, and a couple of lemon rinds. Now that you have your spices and your lemon rinds in the jar, add your beetroot and the pickling mixture to it. Make sure the mixture is still warm when you're filling up the jars and to lid them very securely. Keep them in a cool dark place and they'll be ready to eat within about two weeks but will only improve with age.